Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma bada habita fillah listen to this beautiful hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which is a beautiful reminder for us and it shows us and it's a reminder for me to not get so caught up in this dunya because we get caught up in chasing money we get caught up in chasing women <clears throat> or chasing spouses or whatever. We get caught up in all of these delights of the dunya and we forget the hereafter often. Allah, we forget. May Allah forgive us. May Allah help us to get back on track. May Allah bless us with ikhlas, with the man on the sunnah, and to remember death often. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Listen to this beautiful hadith. When Anas radiallahu ta'ala anhu called خطب رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم خطبة ما سمعت مثلها قط فقال لو تعلمون ما أعلم لدهكتم 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 قليلا ولا بكيتم كثيرا فقال وقال فغطى أصحاب رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وجوههم ولهم خنين متفقون عليه أنس رضي الله تعالى عنه reported that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم gave a khutbah and he said he gave a khutbah a speech a preaching which I never heard like it ever and he said if you knew <coughs> what I know you would laugh little and you would cry often a lot and he said meaning the Rawi or Anas he said, then the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they covered their faces and they cried. And Walahum Khanin and Khanin, they say, is crying with a very soft sound. So it shows us the taqwa and the God fearfulness of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anu majma'in. And that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used the khutbah to admonish the people about the hereafter. To not be so engrossed and so indulged in this dunya. And it caused the people to fear Allah more. And it caused the people to realize and analyze their mistakes. <coughs> and it caused the people to cry. It shows us it's permissible to cry in Islam, of course. That this is a natural reaction. But those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they cry about the hereafter more. They reflect on the hereafter when they hear the Qur'an. They reflect on the hereafter when they hear the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It affects their hearts. It affects them down to their core. And they cry. Because they know how serious this dunya is. That it's not just pleasure and, and mashallah it's beautiful and the sand is nice and the beach is nice. It's so much more than that. While we enjoy this, how many of our brothers and sisters are suffering? Right now bombs are falling on them. Right now their brothers are being killed. Right now their mother just died. Right now their child is, is sitting there hungry. And you have the benefit to worship Allah often, to remember Allah often, to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seek forgiveness. So this shows us the importance of taqwa Allah and that we should benefit from our khutbahs. Likewise our khatibs, those people, these imams giving the, 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 the preachings, don't bore the people and make the people fall asleep. Don't make the people have topics that are not relevant to them. Make it relevant, make the people encourage them. Cause them to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Stir their hearts if you're able to. Give them emotion. Give them what they need to remember Allah. If it brings them closer to Allah, you've done your job. You've done something admirable. And may Allah reward you.
And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect was for myself and the Shaytan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala Ali wa sahbihi wa sallam.